and it's my time. Dear judges, welcome. Today I'm going to serve a coffee with a nice story. Do you remember spring in 2020 before all the crazy stuff with the pandemic situation? I do. Because together with my friend Ushit Zimmerman, we sourced a coffee which I roasted for the World Brewers in Melbourne, 2020. But the Melbourne event was cancelled. And to be honest, we are a small roastery in a small country. And it's really difficult for us to sell large quantities of expensive competition coffees. Fortunately, we almost succeeded. And this amazing coffee didn't go to waste. All of us in the coffee business don't like to see coffee age become woody and lose its aromatics. Many roasters struggled with this problem during the pandemic, but more about it later. Now we are in 2022, finally in Melbourne, and it's my absolute pleasure to brew the same coffee for you guys. This coffee is a geisha variety, carbonic macerated and then naturally processed. Produced by the Dianos and Miller family on their farm Bajo Mono in Bouquet, Panama, at 1,500 meters above sea level. This specific lot was handpicked, sorted, and put into tanks, where CO2 was injected for creating carbonic maceration for seven days. And it helps me to get a nice combination of citric and malic acidity in the final cup. After seven days of controlled fermentation, then the cherries were placed on African beds for another 25 days. That's enough time for sugars to move from the mucilage into the beans and it helps me to extract nice stone fruit sweetness. In order to brew the maximum potential of this coffee, I'm going to use a flatbed brewer, which increases sweetness and body in the final cup. Combination of a new design of Sybarist flatbed paper filters and my own designed 3D printed dripper allows me to brew coffee completely without bypass because paper sticks to the dripper walls. So I'm going to get higher and more even extractions. But there's one problem. Pouring from the kettle creates a lot of agitation, and it creates higher TDS and slightly unbalanced cap. To avoid this, I'm going to using pouring from the kettle only in the beginning of the brew to speed up an extraction. And this water shower screen distributor. This distributor helps me to control agitation through slow and even dosing of water in small drops. And it helps me to get a cleaner cup with 1.35 TDS. And I call it the semi-agitation approach. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly how I'm brewing this coffee. I'm starting with 12 grams. Ground it on the bent food grinder with pre-breaker, which crushes the beans before grinding. And it helps me to get the particles with a nice shape, with a round shape. And it helped me to get a nice sweetness in the final cup. My target is particles around 500 microns. My first pour is an aggressive 80 grams of water in 12 seconds, and I let it sit for one minute. That's enough time for particles to be fully saturated with water. Water temperature in this kettle with a wooden cap is slightly higher. It's 96 degrees with 100 ppm for a better balance, sorry, for a better control of acidity intensity, which is extracted right now in the beginning of the brew. I'm going to pour a total of 210 grams of water, because this is the ratio that fits my semi-agitation approach the best and generates the most complex version of this coffee. My second and last pour is with water at 88 degrees, with 150 ppm for better balance between acidity and sweetness. It's 130 grams split in two parts, 50 grams into the outer circle and the rest 80 grams into the inner circle of the distributor. Combination of these two circles speed up the dripping of water and creates a layer of water over the ground coffee, which slowly passes through it without agitation, and that's the essence of my semi-agitation approach. It's very simple, and most importantly, it's consistent. Now I want to share with you what you can expect from the final cup, but please first note 
that we are going to evaluate this coffee first by hot aroma from the decanter, and then by warm aroma from the cup, and then by warm and cold attributes by sipping directly from the cup. To the hot aroma, please note, we're going to get upfront floral aromas of elderflower, tea flower, pear, green grapes, and champagne in the end. In the warm aroma, we're going to get blackberries, sour cherries, a little bit of guava, and hint of cocoa in the end. Warm aroma is more fruity and more chocolatey than the floral hot aroma. To the warm flavor notes, please note blackberries, red grapes, apricot, and stone fruit sweetness. The aftertaste is going to be medium. with green grapes and a little hint of cocoa in the end. The acidity structure, when it's warm, is going to be medium plus, well integrated and complex. It's a perfect fusion of citric and malic acidity. The body, when it's warm, is going to be medium, silky with a velvety mouthfeel. Now, as the coffee cools down, the stone fruit intensity grows up. In the cold flavor notes, we're going to get peach, apricot, green grapes, and white wine in the end. The aftertaste is going to be long and full of green grapes. And finally, the body, when it's cold, is going to be medium, very refreshing, and clean. Now I'm going to give you instructions how to evaluate this coffee. Please evaluate the hot aroma directly from the decanter and give it a huge swirl before. Then please evaluate warm aroma from the cup. And please put your nose on this side and swirl the coffee with your cupping spoon before it. Then please evaluate all warm and cold taste attributes by sipping directly from the cup. And your lips are going to be here. OK? Thank you. Now please evaluate the hot aroma. Give it a huge swirl, please. Enjoy. Enjoy. If you are ready, guys, now it's, now it's finally time to taste this amazing geisha. But I have to make one thing clear. This is not a fresh harvest. This coffee was roasted two years ago for a cancelled word brewers in Melbourne. And it has been two years in my freezum, freezer, roasted and vacuum sealed. Not wasting the amazing potential of specialty coffees. It's very important for me. Please enjoy this coffee. and welcome this coffee in the future. Please enjoy. It was my absolute pleasure. Please enjoy. Done.